year-old Castello, who's had a terrific season with the Canegliano club in Italy. So that's the lineup for this US team and for Karch Kirai. And it looks like a, an injured, yes, it does. Lucas Slave has turned his ankle, the assistant coach. And the bundle of energy that is the assistant coach, Lucas Slave, is not going to be able to charge around as much as he usually does. So Karch Kirai might have to do a few more of the timeouts this time around. For Turkey, then, a slightly more balanced lineup in terms of what we expect to see. Kansiozbek, very good setter, number three out on court, along with her captain and middle blocker, their tallest player. That is uh, Kubra Akman, number nine. Melia Ismailu through the wing. Uh, Zera Gunish, phenomenal middle blocker up there with uh, Sarah Farr, uh, as one of the best middle players in the number 18 shirt out there on the VNL at the moment in terms of the youngsters that are coming through. And then it's uh, Farama Yildirim, and in the opposite position, Erbra Karakur. There is the mercurial Giovanni Guidetti, such a popular coach with the fans, with the players, and he's done a superb job with this Turkish team. But he wants more. He wants the VNL title, and he wants the Olympic gold medal. And you wouldn't bet against him. So just a confirmation of the lineups. Washington and Gibbermeyer through the middle. Larson and Robinson outside. Lloyd, the playmaker, low the opposite spiker. Courtney, Megan Courtney will start in a different coloured shirt, the libero position. Although it looks like Mary Lake down there on the court, I have to say, for the USA. And for Turkey, Karakurt opposite Ojbay. So Karakurt will provide the power in the 99 shirt. Then Ismailu and Yildirim will provide the stability on the pass. Akman and Gunesh big in the middle. And, uh, this Turkish team, tall at the net, strong, young, but a little inexperienced at this level. And that's what the USA will want to count on as they come into this match. But uh, some great players out there to watch. So the first match then of week four in pool 16. Turkey in the red serving with Oshbey. USA on the left of his shot in the dark blue. And a super block to start with for the Turkish side. Remember, won the toss, decided to take the first serve, and they get the first point. So the point one, Turkey keep the serve. Coloured shirts of the libero. Oh, nice pick up. Not to be for the Turkish side. The USA get up and running. 25 low, the long blonde hair and the ponytail of the American athlete. And Larson now. First serve of the match for the USA. The captain serves. Wide, so Turkey's point. A swing of the arms from Larson, a little bit of a let get myself going. Wake up. They look a little bit tight, the USA down there at the moment. No real flow to what they're doing. So serve back with Turkey. There's the value of having height in that front line, the teenager. Last year on the VNL, turned 20 just earlier this year. Gunesh, a very impressive player. Not a great start, I have to say, from this very new look lineup for USA. Oh, set and tipped. Turkey have started this wonderfully well. Exactly what Giovanni Guidetti would have wanted. Karakut, as you say, Simon, one of the ones when she performs and gets some consistency. Well, maybe today could be the day. Turkey going to a four point to one lead with the serve. Well, interestingly, in last year's VNL final, Turkey thrashed the USA in the first set, beat them 25 17. So it's not unusual for this American team to get off to a slow start. But this is a very slow start, and Karch Kirai will be wondering if the group of players he has out there on court at the moment, who won't have played a lot of volleyball together, 
just struggling to settle. Karakurt. Well, it went wide. Lovely couple of pickups for both the Turkish and the American team to keep the rally going. But a good indicator in that last rally. Lowe took the set when she should have been getting ready to hit and let uh, Mary Lake set the ball up in the air, the libero. But there's a little bit of confusion down there for the team in blue at the moment. <laughs> the stadium announcer, a super spike for Gunez, the number 18. Three points already, early doors. Look at the set, the power, the accuracy. No chance for Lloyd to do anything about that one. Six leading two. Gunez now on the serve. There's the set. The shout in the communication between the players. High ball indeed, and Turkey pick up another point. With Karakurt in that 99 number. Look at the height. Giving the players more time to potentially set up and get into formation needed. And this is a flying start by the Turkish side. Lake the libero for the USA. Keeps it in, high ball once again, Gunez. Oh! A super spike indeed. And the 19-year-old Simon, we're saying she's inconsistent at the moment. As we go into the first technical timeout, playing well, we'd have an 8-2 point advantage for the Turkish. Yeah, Karakurt getting better and better. And as I said, when she's good, she's very good. So Karai just trying to keep it nice and calm, the American coach. He knows that he's put a group of players out onto the court that haven't played together a lot. So they look a little unfamiliar with their positions on court. They're not quite sure who's doing what job. That'll come. Whereas for Turkey, this is a much more familiar lineup of players. So they've just fitted straight into their rhythm at the start of this game pretty easily. But Coach Karai will be concerned at the start that the American team have made here. So Turkey on the serve with Gunez. Six points is the advantage. Oh, it was a high spike, but it was a super block. Now, off goes Karakurt around the court. Little worried look. I don't know if you noticed that from Captain Ackman after this monster block, because Karakurt can get over-revved. She can hype herself up too much in a game, and that is usually not a benefit to her game. So the captain will be keeping that under control for the Turkish team. Karakut. Clever. USA going to get another bite of the cherry here, but once again blocked, but kept in play wonderfully well by Lilibero late for the USA, but the point does go the Stars and Stripes way. It was the libero show there because Kelsey Robinson, fine wing spiker that she is, was trying to convert to a libero position and has played a number of internationals for the USA as a defensive specialist, but back in a hitting role today. So low with the serve for the USA. Six points is the deficit at the moment. See Karakur poised. Oh. Well, she's controlling it at the moment, the youngster, to the benefit. Guidetti's side here, 10 points the advantage, and it's now the 19-year-old on the serve. Five points already, early doors. Well, she's got a big jump serve. Takes a little pace off that one. And that allows Robinson to get a good swing on the ball. This is a little more stable now for USA. Robinson on 
the serve for the US. It's set. And another point for the Turkish team. Ishmael Oglu getting herself in the mix, extending Turkey's lead to 11 points to four. And it is now Ishmael Oglu on the serve for Turkey. Well, Washington thinks he's in, and we might see our first challenge here. She's pretty confident about this. Point has gone Turkey's way. And USA will challenge and will ask the question. The question being, was this ball in or out? I think that's the call, yeah. Was it in or out? So two challenges allowed per set. If you win your challenge, you keep it. If you don't, you get one striked off. An important challenge, this one, for many reasons for the US team. Here we go. In or out. Ball in. Good shout from Team USA. Washington, I have to say, as soon as she landed, was confident. Normally the players know, right? Get an inkling. Washington on the serve then. Plays a volleyball in Italy. Oh! What a monster block from the USA team. They're starting to get a little bit more of a rhythm now. Karakert, well, she was coming through at speed, but denied on this occasion. to say Karakur is growing with each game that we see a play on the VNL. It was very raw last year, but she's already come up with three really intelligent plays. She's working out whether the ball is attackable or whether she's got to go with finesse. Uh, Captain Ackman serves for Turkey. Nice pick up. Nice block and a nice little tip over as well. Gunez putting another point on the board for Turkey. Saw the space. Nice double block at the net. It wasn't enough to deny the Turkish team. Another point on the board, and a timeout's been called by Karch Karai. Seven points to the USA and 12 to Turkey. More words of wisdom, no doubt, from the three time Olympic gold medalist Karch Karai. As always, Luca Slave dealing with all things side in. So when USA have the serve and they're blocking and defending, that's Luca Slave's territory. Karl Kirai, when the team is receiving serve and attacking, which of course was his specialism when he played the wing spiker, swing hit assistant for Doug Beale in the US team that won gold in 84 and 88 in the Olympics, he will deal with everything to do with side out. Slight concern here, well, more than a slight concern, I would say, is the start that Caster Lowe has made. One kill in the game at the moment for the opposite spiker against Karakur six in that opposite position for Turkey. That's better. Gibermeyer next to Captain Larson for a decent block. Yeah, good technique. Instructions being shouted from the sideline. A little bit of traffic on the US side of the court. Karakut puts it up. Yildirim, 21 on her shirt for Turkey. 
finishing the business end of that point. So, Turkey serve. Classic George Larson hit. Just knows where the space is. She's a, sometimes a beach player in the indoor game. Just plays it so well to those spaces. No drama. Takes the US captain back to the service line. Beautiful. Yield the rim. Finding the angles. Great stuff from Turkey. You want your big names carrying the can. You want the Karakuts putting the majority of the ball away. But every so often, you're going to need something from the other players. And Yildirim's been asked to do two jobs so far in this set. She's done both of them really well. Well, low for the USA. Just feeding the confidence of the Turkish team at the moment with moves like that. 15 playing nine in this first set. A reminder, if you're new to us here at volleyball, it's the best of five sets. The first are 25 points in each. In the first four sets, if a fifth is needed, and it goes to 15 points. And at the moment, Turkey are flying along in this first set. Nice and high. Oh, lovely pick up by Larson. It will set once again, though, for Turkey. Nice little rally this. Oh, and it goes the way of the USA in the end. That's better after the team talk from the coaches. Yeah, a little bit scrappy, but a couple of great pickups in there from both the liberos, Lake and Sariolu. There is Karakut. We're going to see a challenge here because Giovanni Gudetti, I suspect more than anything, just wants to slow the game up here, just take a bit of sting out ahead of the technical timeout, and this is a good way of getting to talk to your players. I don't think he thinks this touched anything. No clear sign that that's caught even the ponytail of Robinson. That was purely tactical. That was about the coach talking to his players and using a challenge almost as a mini timeout. Karaj Karaj, he's one of his challenges, successful, so he keeps his two. A technical one made by Guidetti. Ishmeloglu, she's having a good game so far. Jump up with the double block. But it's the Turkish team as we reach the second technical timeout of the first set that have a six-point advantage. You can see there Giovanni Guidetti previously the head coach for the Netherlands when he led them to the fourth place at those Rio Olympics, but now back in Turkey with his wife, who used to be a very good volleyball player, and his young daughter. And Karakut, well, we've questioned her temperament so far, Simon, but at the moment, everything's under control, the technique and the emotions, and she's playing wonderfully well. Six points in the bank already. Yeah, and she's a youngster, and you expect this from youngsters. She's 19, so... Things are going to be different out on court. You're going to get some emotional outbursts occasionally from Karakurt. But look at that. Look at Ojbe working with her. She'll have her captain and she'll have the setter chatting away to her, just trying to keep the focus there. We've seen that one little run around the court from her away from the team. And I thought the captain dealt with that well. Atman just gave her a look as if to say, come on, calm down, come back. It's a long way to go yet. So. Another. Sorry, Another great sorry. youngster at the service line. Gunesh having a great game so far. She is second highest scorer so far for Turkey with four points. Gets reset but gets blocked. Lake will put it high. Oh, a wonderful hit. And Robinson doing a good job there for the USA, the number 23. She wellies this into Kunish's uh, <laughs> bread basket, hence the apology after this spike. Still the concern for Lowe, she's not beating the Turkish block at all. 91.3 kilometers per hour. Robinson is flying at the moment for the USA. Oh, so is Ishmaelu for 
this Turkish team. And both wing spikers for Turkey have started this game really well. hit to another Calicut on the service line throws it high close but out signaled by the single end line judge that we now have on the VNL it's a particular system of officiating the lines that is being road tested by the FIVB but can only happen when you have all the technology around you from Hawkeye to help Slide deep, the captain first real hit in anger we've seen from Ackman. Making that 1 meter 98 frame of hers count, reaches very high in the air on full extension. Ishmael Oglu then on the service line, a six point advantage for Turkey in this first set. Oh, wonderfully picked up. That was millimeters from hitting the ground. This is excellent, really good. Ojbay, such a clever setter, realising that that line of attack for Ackman is undefendable if she gets it right. And what a pick-up from Sariolu, if it was a pick-up. Looks a bit one-hand, one-bounce to me there, but if the USA don't like it, they can challenge for a floor touch. Doesn't look like that's happening, though. The Turkey quite happy to continue the wave that they're on now with a seven-point advantage, 19 leading 12. Much in row three. If they go gap to her, that's fine. She's much better off two feet. So we're going to go nose on nine. Listen up. As soon as pass is off from here, on the right side blocker, you got to be early and really aggressive on their left side blocker. Hey, we're going to go. Let's go. USA, USA. See the way they divide the information between Karch and Luca. Luca Slade, the assistant coach, who's uh, crocked at the moment. Evidently twisted his ankle in the training session. It's easy to do. Coaches do take quite a role in training. Luca's got a wonderful arm action. He's got great feed spiking the ball at the players to give them lots of defensive plays. Goes the way of Turkey that now hits the 20-point mark. Remember, 25 is the golden number. This one each set by two clear points. A strong position, this Turkey, 20 leading 12. Ishmael Oglu, the number nine that Karch Karai was talking about, keeping an eye on. Gives the USA a point back. Panic though when you're seven points up and you're leading 2013. I think you'll be reluctant as well to make too many changes at the end of the first set. We may have to wait through till midway in the second if this US team are not responding to see Karch Kirai make some wholesale changes. He's got players on the bench that can win this match. Michel Barch Hackley, for instance. Little blocker Chaka on Bogu. She was impressive two weeks ago. Decent touch from Larson. Same attack again, and USA getting a handle on Ackman's slide deep. Give a mic with a miss hit. So after so much good work, keeping the ball in play, number eight, Give a has handed the point to the Turkish team now. Four points away from winning the first set. The smile there of Gune says it all at the moment. Turkey absolutely flying through this first set. Off the top of the block from Larson. There's no flow at the moment to this US performance. It's a bunch of individuals, as talented as they are, doing their best. Virtually no points through the opposite position, just a single point at the moment to cast a low. You need your opposite firing to win matches at this level. Great Ooh. set. What a set from Ajbay out wide to Yildirim. But all the problem for the US block is created by the jump of Gunesh, the middle player in the number 18 shirt, taking the blockers and a free net for Yildirim to put it away. Three kills for her.
Good lineup as well for Turkey. Ajbay on the back line, so the setter out of the front court. Two blockers, and they've not done that particularly well. Yildirim and Ozbay both going for the same ball. It's a good zone to tip in, just in front of the three-metre line, right in the centre of court. That's not defended. So someone has to commit, and Yildirim, for some reason, saw Ozbay and pulled out of the shot. Larson. Set. Absolutely fired with power. Turkey now just a couple of points away from taking this first set right between the two blockers. The whistle goes. Eight seconds is the maximum allowable time that a server then has to get their serve in. Some like to bounce more than others in anticipation. Set high. Oohs and the ahs from the crowd is kept in play. Karakurt. Oh, that's a very, very good shot. That is really cool. She's all about power, Karakurt, but there's this little part of her game now that is starting to grow and develop. Good vision, good realisation, and a very clever finesse shot, just rolling it over the block and away from Larson. Set point then for Turkey. 196 centimetres tall, Karakut, the third tallest player in the Turkish team, and they have their serve on set point. That's it, blown out of the back of the court by Robinson. And a capitulation by the USA. That looked a little disorganised. Certainly a group of players that have not had a lot of court time together. And maybe just one experimentation with the lineup too far from Karch Kirai. But he's the sort of coach that will say to the players out there at the moment, you've got us into this mess, I'm going to give you a chance to get us out of it. So the conversations will be had on both sides between Giovanni Guidetti and Karch Kirai. Let's have a look back on some of the highlights of that first set when Turkey came out with a job to do and absolutely smashed it out the park, winning the first set USA serve placement, pretty even across the board at the moment. I don't think they have a, a particular target. And they don't really know which of the wing spikers to hit at the moment. Ismailglu and uh, yielded him both passing very well. And Sariolu, the libero, as well, coping with the service pressure. However, there is a plan for Coach Guidetti's team, and they are shoving everything down towards position one. So they are really attacking hard on that cross court. And they're trying to make the setter, Lloyd, set across her body. And at the moment, USA not coping with much uh, that Turkey are throwing at them. I think we will see changes from Karch Kirai. I'm just not sure we'll see them straight away. I think he'll give this team a chance to play out. Although Barch Hackley looks like she might be coming on. Number 14, their top scorer on the VNL last year. But I'd be surprised if the substitutions are made straight away by the Americans. No need to change anything, though, for Coach Guidetti. And it's not unusual for the USA to start slowly. Even with all of their top players, inverted commas, out on court, USA can sometimes get off to slow starts. 
but here with this group of players that have not played much at all together if you'd asked me to stick a pin in the lineup today i would not have gone with those players so this is something out of the box from karai and at the moment as you saw from the rhythm of that first set performance from the team in blue it just wasn't happening whereas uh, the team in red looked like a well-oiled machine different rhythms indeed in the first set concentration nice face number eight for the usa high fives all around the caracut at the moment having a wonderful game seven points six in attack so far like a cord spring isn't she just waiting to go caraca absolutely loves it she does she's a bundle of energy she's a little bit like nelly for the italian men's team they just love playing volleyball it's wonderful to see so carly lloyd gets us underway first serve of the second set for the usa oh, oh. the first point goes to turkey that wow. is crazy from Gunesh, what an angle on that slide d you usually expect to see these go back across court after the extension and reach but she's nailed that straight down More touches oh dear from the usa point of view but fantastic stuff from turkey starting where they left off after that first set Oshbe then with the serve. Was the best setter in the 2018 VNL. And of course, they made the final. This a repeat of the final last year. Better. Laura Gibbermeyer saying, let's go to her libero. Desperate for some rhythm in this game. Cast a low. Desperate for points in the opposite position. She's in front court now won't give them any rhythm at all. Poor serve from the captain. Your dream. Sets. Here, yeah, cover, cover being shouted from ground level. Wow, cover indeed is what the USA need. Wow, another super spike. Gunes, seven points, five from attack so far. The serve, serve stays with Yildirim. 4-1, early doors in the second set. The rhythm is still being found by the Turkish team. Great save, Carly Lloyd, wonderful set from the American playmaker. Gets it out wide to Robinson, who's a fine athlete. Good jump. And it's not happy with herself because she didn't penetrate the net on that diagonal through the middle. Two service errors in a row. That hurts. Contrast of emotions. Gibbermai leaves the court disappointed. Calicut on the other side. Absolutely buoyed by the way that the Turkish team are playing. From one to another, Gunes. <laughs> yeah, just overcooked it. One of, it long. One of two fantastic young middle blockers on the VNL this year. Gunes and Far for Italy. Just brilliant players. got a serve in at last so we had a, a rally of sorts a nice play from Ishmael Blue now game's a little bit out of rhythm so this doesn't always suit Karakur because she's got to do everything on her own here there's not a rhythm to play off the back of so we'll see if this serve is good goes high fantastic oh Wow, what a hit from the floor from Castello. She knows she's got the height if she reaches to go over this 224 net. 
That is something you do not see very often. But from the floor, wax it away. What a kill. found and the spike was made USA coming back into this one now just one point down in this second set what a tight angle what a great point Karen Kurt had no chance on that one Robinson then on the serve for the US that's incredible the Turkish middle at the moment Ahmad Gunesh working so well and let's give the setter some credit Ajbay putting that on a plate that was exactly the centimeter that her captain wanted the ball to be set to good serve so some signs of recovery for this US team, but not enough at the moment to really compete with Turkey. So the first technical timeout of the second set. USA got to back within one point for a fleeting moment in the second set. Until Turkey continued a fine start to this match. Ishmanoglu now on five points, four in attack. Gunez and Karakut on seven points apiece. There is Gunez. So far, so good for the Turkish player. She really has been, as you say, Simon, instrumental in the setup and the formation of this Turkish team so far. Well, she's a tall player, but she's mobile, so she blocks well, she moves really well across the net to attack, serves well and backs that one service rotation up where she is on court instead of the libero with good defence. So it's a complete middle blocker package that uh, Turkey have with Gunesh. So serves continue with the Turkish side, three points ahead. I'm talking of excellent middle blockers. USA have a few of their own. Hayley Washington, 24 years of age now, so very much part of this US team. But really, really impressive. And it is Washington again on the service line. Well, Robinson will be disappointed with that as a libero this level would have expected to make that pretty comfortably but our first really big pipe attack from Turkey and Karakut. Karakut's only going to get better as long as she stays injury free. Three, four years time she's going to be amazing. Wow. That little shout that you heard from Yildirim after the spike, that tells you the spiker knows that they have hit that really hard. Great set again from Ojbay. Gunes taking away the middle player. Back to Zankman, the captain, providing the deception. So Karsh Karai, taking the time out with his side, four points down in his second set. So that clipboard there, Catherine, just a row of court diagrams that Lucas Slave gradually fills out as the rotations develop. And from that, he develops a series of numbers and a series of coaching information that he passes on to each of the players in their positions in backcourt and at the net. So the players have all the info they need. But knowing what to do, and putting it into practice, sometimes two different things. 
Oh, gosh. Tip for block. A little cheeky tip as well. USA pick up the point. Watch the sweat from her brow, does Lloyd. She's a great setter. She's so Lovely. combative. She really does want to take it to the opposition. Clever play there. So Carly Lloyd again on the serve for the USA. Three down. Nice pick up. Caricut again in the action, keeping it in play. Brilliant. Wow. So the concerns continue for the USA in terms of Castelo not putting the ball away. Good defence, as you said, from Caricut. But yielded it. He's hitting like a dream, the wing spiker. And off a reverse bump set from her libero. So that wasn't a particularly stable platform to attack from. Low at last gets a put away, but on a free net from an overpass. She is a much better player than we've seen so far in this match, the number 25 for the USA. A lot of players for the Americans in that position, but nobody really standing out at the moment. Although I did, do, although I did think in week one, Annie Drews looked uh, very good. Good, just keeps hammering away. She's slowly creeping towards double figures in terms of points, up to nine now. Over the top of Givermeyer, that was impressive. So Yildrim bounces. Ace, indeed. Well, the smile says it all for the Turkish team so far. Doesn't matter if it hits somebody on the way out. Lake tried and failed. Can she do another one? This one kept in by Lilibero Lake. Free ball though for Turkey. Not a great pass from Sariolu. Her hands came apart there, but. USA touch the net, so Turkey get away with it. Now, we've got a long way to go in this set. All sorts of things can happen, but let's make a bit of a call here. I think Turkey go 2-0. I think Karch Garay's hand will be forced in this match. And unless he's using this as a training opportunity, I think he's going to make wholesale changes. We could see three, four, maybe even five players come in for the USA. Then, if that group of players clicks, we could go to five sets. USA. Final words from Karch Karai. Well, you're right, Simon. It depends what it's about this match, doesn't it? The first match in Pool 16 in Week 4. What does Karch Karai want out of it? What's he using it for? Big matches, of course, to come this week. The USA take on Poland tomorrow, then China on Thursday. So we will see what the great American, widely considered the best player of all time, is going to do with his USA setup. Because at the moment, Turkey have four points. That's the advantage in this second set, leading one set to nil. Well, one of the changes that I think has to happen is that Megan Courtney, the libero, has to come in for Mary Lake because that hasn't worked at the moment. Lake struggling with her passing today. It's another good serve, ball moving, tricky. But a libero's job is singular in this particular part of the game. Get the ball to the setter. So still, Yildirim serves for Turkey. Too tight. Might see a net touch challenge here. No, it's been called by the officials anyway. The Turkish player will know whether they contacted the net with their arm or their hand, so probably won't challenge this decision. Interesting one. Karakut must have just brushed the antenna with her finger as she brought her arms around. Free ball to Turkey again. 
Better pass. And Ismail gets it out off the arms. And USA in all sorts of bother now in this match. So, second technical timeout. Turkey were ninth at the World Championships once again in Japan last year. Stuff here in this first match. Zhang Men Sports Hall in China. And that is Robinson, the number 23 for the USA. Six points. The leading scorer on the Stars and Stripes at the moment. In the number 23 shirt. Yeah, Robinson, a fine athlete. Switched from libero to wing spiker for uh, this week. So, not the two regular wing spikers in for the USA in terms of what we've seen on the VNL so far. Uh, but it isn't working. Wide attacks at the moment just not happening for USA. The pass isn't good enough to release the middle. So for them to side the ball out, take the ball back to the service line and score a point is becoming increasingly difficult against this Turkish team. And I think we're getting closer and closer to Karch Giray maybe making four, five changes for next, the next set. Beautiful from the captain, Ahmad. Business end now of this set. This is where it counts. What a start for Turkey. Low it is, the miss is out. There we go, Low's lost a place on court for a, a double substitution for the moment. So Carlini will come in as the new playmaker, the new setter. She'll come on in the back line. I know it looks like a, maybe it's a straight switch. But Thompson comes in as the opposite spiker. Essentially on the double substitution, normally you flip the rotation. Yeah, that's what's happened. Thompson in the front line, and gets it off the block and out. Another great player, but another very new player to the US lineup, Jordan Thompson. And Carlini as well. You would normally expect to see Micah Hancock coming in as the replacement setter for Team USA, but she's not travelled with the party to China. It is a straight swap. Thompson straight off that front line. Kanako puts it away, but for me, that's the first signal that Karch Kirai is going to make changes. So he's getting players in just to warm them up a little for the next set. He knows this set's lost. Still no Michel Barch Hackley on court. Karachut hits double figures, 10 points now. For the Turkish side. Good set. Really oh. good choice from Ozbay. We see this time and time again, but the player at the back line hitting the jump serve, the top spin jump serve, has hit a very similar shot to the shot that she now has to hit from the three metre line. So this is virtually like hitting another serve. And that's why Karakur is in the groove. So why not give her the ball again? Great serve, great kill. Karakur flying. Good pass. Uh, there we go. That's better. Carlini flat and fast to Washington, who runs that slide D option. So Washington, the middle player, number 22, bottom of your screen. Watch how far she travels. All the way across to the other line. And then off one foot to put it away. Line infringement from Robinson. That's a shame because that was a beautiful hit. The three metre line out of bounds to the backcourt players if they're going to attack. We saw first person to shout for that was coach Guidetti. That's the first thing he's looking at when he sees the ball go backcourt. See if he can help his team out. It's in says Karch Kirai, and so does the Lions judge and referee. Another ace for Turkey. Just, <laughs> but no challenge.
So more changes to come. This set is moribund. It's dead in the water. So this is about getting players warmed up for the next set and the change that I thought we might say in, see in the middle. Ogbogu comes in. So it's Ogbogu and Washington in the middle. We've got Thompson on the opposite position. And Carlini setting. So we're nearly there to our five changes. One more to come, I think. And that will probably be Barch Hackley for Robinson. Maybe that's the call. Leave the captain Larson out on court. And then Megan Courtney to come in at libero position. So that would be six out of the seven players for the USA changed by Karch Kirai for set three. Not saying it's going to happen, but that's an option. Bit of a skyrocket from uh, the captain Ackman. <laughs> One of those looks to the coach. You don't really need to tell me what I've done there. I can see. So Carlini serves Turkey three points away from taking the second set. Nice and high. Okay, some encouragement here for Team USA. Turkey just going off the boil a bit. So I think when we come to set three, we can say we're going to restart the match. It's going to be a new start for everybody. Only two points needed now on Turkey's serve. Oshbay on the back line. Good serve. Karakurt, set. Turkey continue to function at a high level. Yildirim continues to benefit from Gunesh just taking the US block every single time and Ojbay pings it out. Clever set, broader in off the wing to create the space. USA completely out of this match at the moment. Set point on the serve for Turkey to take it two sets to love. Fine block. Thompson jumps out of the gym and next to Washington really did shore up the angle there. Save the point scored the monster block so one set point saved captain Larson for the USA oh, oh. zero well. tempo well they're calling it out but that's it that's a long way in so <laughs> challenge challenge here we'll give Turkey the set no what's happening We've got a challenge well must have been a net touch it's long doesn't matter. USA just hand it over anyway. So forget the first two sets. Oh, they've given it in. Despite the lines judge putting the flag up. Referee overruling. No challenge from Turkey. And there we go. At last. Now we can forget the first two sets. <laughs> Finally. But I think that uh, we are going to restart this match now. USA are going to certainly restart with a, a completely new team for set three. So two sets to love for Turkey, 25-15. And then they ran out with that second set, 25-17. And now let's see what Karch Karai does with that little bit of firepower that we know he still has on the bench. The changes are surely going to come. But in terms of Giovanni Guidetti, well, the table toppers in the VNL so far are two sets to love up with that 25-17 set victory. And they're continuing their good run of form of the Turkish players. So they'll want nothing to change going into this third set. But as you say, Simon, we'll be prepared for the changes that are going to come from the USA.
Setter contact points inside the green zone means that as a setter you can really function. So Ojbe can run all the attacks she wants to run. And it's okay, 53%, that's enough to cause uh, the US team problems. But certainly that uh, service reception for Turkey could be tightened up. And then in terms of their set of contact points in the next set, well, not much of a set to play again. 25-15, 25-17. So what they did was good enough. Certainly good enough for the group of players that Karch Kirai had out on the floor. And we will find out in set three what Karch Kirai's thoughts are with regard to this match. Is that Barch Hackley in the mix? And if it is, she's coming on for the captain, Jordan Larson, by the looks of it. So Carlini will start in the setting position for the USA. Thompson will start opposite. Kelsey Robinson has kept her place on court. The other outside hitter, the other wing spiker, will be Michelle Barch Hackley which means that a very talented Jordan Thompson in that opposite position will have a big responsibility here, not just about scoring points, but about stopping Turkey and their attack. So we have another new lineup on court for Team USA. And on none of the weeks at the moment have we hit the lineup that won them the VNL last year. Set three then, Turkey serve, two sets up. Oh, good pick up, good set up again. Fantastic rally. Three huge hits from the USA. Two recycled, the third one though from Agbogu, just too good. So here we go. The comeback has started for the USA. First point in the third set. Yeah, Turkey, this is a big phase for Turkey. They've got to go all the way through probably the first two phases of this set. So they need to be level with the USA minimum coming out of the second technical timeout to not give the Americans any encouragement. And then they can get this across the line in three sets. They go hard here at the start of set three, keep putting USA under pressure from the service line. Turkey can win this game pretty easily. Good pass from Barch Hackley. Robinson working it off the block and ready with a, a, a group of slightly more familiar players in terms of the court time they've had together. USA just look that little bit more balanced. The shape is better. Lake retains her place on court in the libero position. She's ready. A Bogbu serves. High ball indeed. Blocked by the USA. So two apiece in this third set. I promise you this is a different game already. Turkish players know it as well. Might as well be nil-nil at the moment. Look what a difference getting the ball into that green zone for the setter makes. The contact points for Carlini have all been close to the net, on her head. She can set who she wants. And the Turkish block stranded. Oh, Thompson serves long. But this is more like it from the USA. Quiet. Oh, what a serve. All right, that'll be Turkey's ball. Four touches, you're only allowed three. So the spike of Barch Hackley going into the net rather than into the blocker's arms. Might see a challenge for this. From 
USA. So if it hits the net tape, but then carries on to hit the blocker's hands or arms, then that would count as uh, the ball still being in play, giving the USA another three touches. And because the point was improperly concluded, we'll have to replay this. That's hit the arm, so we'll have to replay the point. Good challenge. So the USA getting it right where Hawkeye is concerned so far today. Unfortunately, that's about the only thing they have got right. Scoreboard will catch up in a moment. Smile of Thompson. My high fives all around with this new setup. Understandably, a new setup after the first two sets didn't go in any way, shape, or form as Karch Karai wanted. The serve errors still killing any rhythm for the USA. They've got phenomenal blockers in front court. There's an irrelevance if you don't get the ball into play. Trouble here for the USA. If Turkey can just pull a couple of points ahead, they're going to feel the pressure then. Pick up. <laughs> USA just pulling Turkey apart at the moment, just gradually getting into their opponents and causing them problems. A solid kill again from the American superstar Barge Hackley. Is this for a pickup? <laughs> Flying along the floor, Sariolu, and then Ozbay from the floor volleys it over. Picked up, saved. But the point goes Turkey's way. Rush Hackley. The influence has been made since she's been brought on. Of course, Turkey now just leading by one point in this third set. So USA not firing on all cylinders at the moment still, but they've gone from 30% to about 70%. They're, they're getting closer to a performance. block turkey go again oh the point ends up wow now this has gone Ooh. usa's way but yildirim saying she got that off the block and it span away all the way across the net and missed the court without being touched by any other turkish player that's happened right under the referee's nose that's really difficult to see so the call is that it is in that it is usa's point turkey say this was out but we may see a counter call after this or a counter challenge after this if the USA think it touched one of the Turkish players. So there's the challenge, officially requested and granted. Is it in or out? Hawkeye will tell us. Quite an unusual ball trajectory on this one. It's way out. Now, do we get a counter challenge from the USA to request, did this touch the defender on the way? Or are the USA going to accept this decision? The referee may just be explaining that actually he didn't give it for in or out. He gave it for the touch on the Turkish player and they've actually gone and challenged the wrong thing. I've not seen back-to-back -back challenges from a single team before. Referee can challenge themselves, by the way. If the referee's unsure, they can overrule themselves and have a look. 
And there is one of the most experienced referees on the circuit, Zenovic of Russia. Been a ref on the FIVB top order since 1995. So he's seen it all. Anyway, Turkey don't get a, a point off it. It's all good for the USA. Well, indeed, a super spike. Thompson puts it away after the little bit of drama the discussions were had. The score was kept at six apiece. So Carlini with the serve for the USA. Ahead once again in this third set. It's got to be two touches, and I'm sure USA will make their feelings known to the referee here. That was a horrible set from Guinness. The player that's there to make the plays and set the ball is Ojbe in the number three shirt, but every so often, out of system, somebody else has to set it. You're not allowed to double touch it. Kudeti just having a chat with Karch Kirai to say, yeah, that's, that's one that you owe us. Yeah, Robinson was over to the referee like Usain Bolt, but nothing came of it. Stays at was seven apiece. But the roar of the ace for the Turkish team puts them back one point ahead in this third set. So the USA have made the changes. But of course, it's a set that they've got to win here, the United States. We hit the first technical timeout of the third set. So the changes have been made, Simon, as effective as Karch Karai would have wanted. If not, why not? Yeah, there's, there's still a bit of experimentation going on. He could have uh, taken out Mary Lake, who's struggling a bit in this game, and put in Megan Courtney. Certainly could have done that. So it's not quite a, a wholesale change of players but it certainly looks better for Team USA and as you said Karakur a little quiet in this set I think Turkey and Ojbe will have to go to her as the set moves on they're going to need their number 99 to be on her best form come back to the party as it were but encouraging signs now I don't know if you saw but after Ojbe's serve puffed her cheeks out looked quite pressured and nervous and the rest of the Turkish team celebrated hard. I think they're here for a win in this match. I'm not so sure USA are as concerned. They look pretty relaxed to me, the American team. And that's what Turkey need Karakurt to do on the big points. Yep, kept a little bit quiet. It puts herself up to 15 points in total. Started this Week four with 110 points, 88 from attacks. Did the number 99. And starting to sniff around again and put some more points on the board for Turkey. They lead by two. Good comeback from Thompson. Jumps high, contacts the ball very high above the net. Makes it tricky for any block. Serve. Good save. Beautiful from Ojbe, but even better from Gunesh. She saw the setter was under pressure. Watch how quickly she gets to the net, knowing that the only option for Ojbe was just a single-handed set just up above the net. Neil Drim is ready. Nice. Kicking the scoreboard over. USA, something they didn't do in the first two sets. Look at some of Thompson's stats. She spikes at 320 and blocks at 314. Very exciting player. One of many exciting players. The big pull that USA have, but they've got to keep in this one here. They're one point down in the third set. Karakurt. Let's hit the antenna, another point USA. Very important phase of the match here. And this next phase, through to the technical timeout and afterwards, will tell us, I think, whether we're going to five sets here.
Big breath out. Set. Pick up. Free ball though, Turkey. Huge point for the Turkish team. So their service reception has got a little bit sketchy, but they're saving points still out of system. That was another one hand, one bouncer there, so we would have seen that challenged if it hadn't gone Turkey's way. Gunesh, monster block to finish. He continues to deliver for this team. It's so steady, the 20-year-old middle player. Play. Chance now for the States. Back line, Barch Hackley straight into the block. Captain Ahmed waiting. Another big, big point for this Turkish team. Rewarded the Turkish team. that gives them a two-point advantage. And a timeout is called. And once again, Karsh Karai will share his words of wisdom. Two-point deficit for his USA team in the third set. They still look pretty chilled, this American side, even though they're struggling again in this set. I think that's an indication of maybe what the goals were here today. It was about getting players on court, giving the players some time out there on the floor, rather than the result. Good shot from Thompson, tight to the net as well. Carlini, that's three brilliant defensive plays in a row for the US setter. And that's a superb response from Karakur. So, in, no, last year, she'd have been picked up on the cross court, then gone to that shot again, and that second shot, I guarantee you, would have gone way out. But Karakur is killing the ball now when she's been asked to, even under pressure. Having a fabulous game at 16 points. Overpass, well saved by Carlini. And well killed by Robinson. Consistent play from Lake in the US team. Yeah, she needs to uh, recover the situation here. And her pass has been far better with this group of players around her. Weird defence from Thompson to produce the pickup. Told herself off there. Number 12 for the USA. It gives Turkey a two point advantage. Washington, 22 on her best, poised and ready for the USA. It's Ishmael Oglu serving for Turkey. Set up, Barsh Hackley. Well, it can be the Barch Hackley show sometimes. That was a really poor pass from her, so the only player that could have been set was herself. 
but when that's the situation, you've got to put the ball away. And that's what she does so well. So nice save from Barch Ackley. Well, very impressive. Uh, Yildirim has been superb through the left side of court. Turkish pass just getting a bit sketchy at the moment. As I said, it's not as stable as it was in the first two sets. So those hits are really under pressure. Yildirim killing it, Karakou killing it, but they've stopped using the middle a little because the pass isn't there. Good block on the line. Sandy Gurnish again. Well, the buzzer goes for the second technical timeout of the third set. Indeed, Gurnish again up to 11 points now. And Turkey pull away a little bit in this third set by three points, leading, remember, two sets to nothing. It's a do or die third set this for the USA. Wondering why they haven't seen the second Turkish libero yet. Simgiakos looks like she's got a fairly heavy strapping on her left leg, so might just be resting this one out. And Washington, I think Washington's been underused in this game, but that's because the pass just hasn't been there. But if that pass gets more stable, we'll see more of the number 22 because that's what she can do. Another one of those wrecking ball middle blockers when she gets to swing. players that play to volleyball in Italy. A little spread of teams. Three main teams in Turkey, of course. Yeah, in, in, in Istanbul, basically. Yeah. Back in Bank, Galatasaray, is that about you? Three big ones. A lot of the players from the US apply their trade there, but at the moment, they're applying their trade to try and keep in this first match of Pool 16 against a very resilient Turkish team. You'd expect nothing less, a rematch, of course, of last year's BNL final. It really has been a, a match, though, so far of two tails. The USA are still fighting in this one. They have the serve. Set. Oh, oh, that's coming back. I think the whistle's gone too early. Well, it's been called as a carry by the official. You can't let the ball dwell in your hand basically throw it up in the air and that is what the referee says has happened off of Yildirim's play so that can't be challenged that's gone Turkey a little unlucky there big big phase this is the biggest phase of the game so far Let's see the signals for the attack being shown by us by behind the shirt so the blockers can't see what she's going to do Irrelevant, no pass, and USA are flying now. If USA can win this next phase and get to 25 ahead of Turkey, then this game is anybody's. Great overhead shot. Sixteen apiece. Good lineup for the Americans. Carlini is an excellent blocker, but the playmaker in backcourt. So Thompson's up there. Shoring up the right side. Oh, swing. What a swing from Karakut. Barch Hackley will be disappointed there. A chance to really shut it down on the line. Bundle of energy. Karakut, she really is. Absolute live wire. Oshbe left her hanging then. <laughs> Karakut went in, oh, they gone. It's a long way up, <laughs> it's a long way up for a high five with Karakut. <laughs> Not coming back. USA doing all the right things at the moment. Not letting Turkey score twos and threes, hitting straight back. A great kill for Barch Hackley. Which on the service line for the US, 17 apiece. Be 
Played on. That came off the block. Good touch, Sarioglu. And a nice pick up, Carlini. Oh, wow, what a rally. Turkey go again. No. Robinson. Oh, amazing stuff. An absolute lung buster. And that has to be our mega rally of the day so far. No doubt. The crowd loved it. We loved it. A 37.1 second rally duration. Lung buster indeed. So how high over the block Karakurt goes when she takes it at full contact and even at the end. Turkey a little unlucky, great scrap from the USA. Do you know what? That might be the point that takes us into at least a fourth set. Put that in context, Simon, 37 seconds. Yeah, you're really, really yeah. tired at the end of it. <laughs> if, you're, if you're a middle blocker, you want this break between the points to go on for as long as possible. Yeah, that hurts, that really hurts. It was a long one. It was a neutral, absolutely love it. Bosch Hackley on the service line there. The USA now have a one-point advantage in this must-win set to continue this match. Oof. Huge hit from Karakur. Whoa. Now, I don't think it touched the block, and I think it probably was going out with the height that it hit Michelle Barch Hackley at, but Barch Hackley didn't have an option, couldn't get out of the way, it was too fast. Big, big points coming up now. Out. No touch, you would say we'll have to challenge if they think it did touch. We saw our first con on the challenge from the USA. From, uh, TJ DeFalco the other day actually went through to the opposition and said, go on then, I, I touched it, you should challenge. And they challenged and lost it. Oh, good swing. So interesting situation developing here. The USA have control of the ball, so they're running far better offence, isolating the Turkish blockers. In turn, Turkey trying to break the USA service reception down. What they're doing is they're picking on Barch Hackley and they're saying, well, basically you're going to hit everything, so you might as well pass everything. Trying to overload the number 14. But the rest of the US players covering her very well. Karakut continues to impress. Basically hasn't put a foot wrong in this game, and that's not what you normally say about a Karakul performance. There will be runs of errors in there. She's done nothing wrong. She arrived with 13 aces at the start of week number four. Karakul, 19 points now. Leading the way for Turkey in terms of the point scoring. And at the moment, all eyes focused on closing this match out. Turkey have the serve and a one-point advantage in the third set. Poor pass again. Thompson gets a hammer on it, but just puts it out over the baseline. Really tough for the right-hander. Ball's coming from the back of the court. It's coming across your body. Very difficult to hit that with any timing. And that's a valuable point for Turkey, and Karch Kirai knows it. It's the timeout. going on in transition, says Lucas Labe. 
well spotted. And some huge rallies out there. Big serve this. Very often you get a mistake off the back of a timeout. So Gunish not only has to put this in court, but she's got to put it in with a bit of pressure. I suspect the woman straight in front of her in the number 27 shirt is the target. Brace yourself, Lake. Hits a good pass. Chances, though, for Turkey. And that's a massive kill from Karakort, and that might be it for Turkey. That's a really handy cushion now. And that should be enough to win this match, and the USA under serious pressure. Considering the context of that shot, that is the hit of the game for Karakort, and uh, Coach Guidetti knows it. Doesn't celebrate like that on every kill. So, Karakort hits 20. Nice shot. USA had to kill that ball. But their problem is that they now need to score at least a point off their own service to give them a chance here. Preferably two on the Thompson serve, but they've got Carlini back in the front court now, opposite to Thompson in the rotation. So a blocking opportunity there. Oh, is that a miss from Karakurt? She says it's in. It uh, looked long to me, and the referee has said it's touched. So therefore, Robinson says, no way, this hasn't touched the block, let's challenge. And this is a big, big point. So the challenge is going to be from the USA. It's going to be to ask whether this touched the block or not. If it didn't touch the block for Turkey. Oh, no, here we go. Hawkeye's going to tell us. And the ball is way out. And that's where technology is invaluable. Because in days gone by, before Hawkeye, that would have gone Turkey's way. And USA would have been completely out of this game. So the scoreboard will be ticked back. It was 23-20 to Turkey after that decision. But it'll go back 22-21 with Thompson serving. Now Turkey under pressure. This Meolu waits. This is not good for the Turkish service reception. They don't want to be hanging around here. This is all playing into the hands of the team in blue. After all of that, USA keep their challenge. Turkey lose one. Oshbay just checking with Coach Guidetti what's set. He wants play. The score's still not got back to where it should be. He's not happy. Coach Guidetti knows this is a massive point now. knows his players are getting cold. Well, after a delay, we do get service errors. That's the other factor. So Thompson will have had a bit of time to think about this, but she doesn't have to hit the ball as hard here because the Turkish receivers are the ones under pressure. And Thompson not happy about another delay. Oh, that reaction, that overt reaction from Thompson would suggest that maybe she's feeling the pressure at the line. It feels like we're going to get a serve error, an ace, or a, a shank pass. I'm not sure we're going to get a great point off this next one after that delay. It's all sorted, but it really shouldn't take that long to get there. Score's correct. Thompson just checking the whistle's gone. That's all difficult for her to deal with. And there we go. Shank pass. Karakut. Amazing. Oh, wow, what a hit. And I thought the last one on the left side of court was her best, but that is exceptional. What a bump set from deep in the back court to get it tight to the net. But for Karakurt to hit that with any force, that was awesome. Mini crisis averted. Karakurt on the serve. No, 
Got the toss wrong, got the swing wrong. Ah, she knows it. And she's off the front court now. Less of a block for Barch Hackley to deal with. She can go over the top of Ojbe. Poor pass. But two touches given against Barch Hackley. If you jump and form a block and it hits your hands, that doesn't count as a touch. So you can then land and play the ball again. If you stay on the floor and put your hands in the air, you haven't formed a block. So it hits you and then you volley it, two touches. Match point for Turkey. Shackley gets set up. Good touch. Carlini. Americans go again and pick up the point to save the match for now. One attack. Turkey need to kill one attack and the match is theirs. And Coach Guidetti is just going to have a chat with his players and say, what we've done in training a thousand times. Pass, set, kill. So Turkey one point away from winning their first match here in Jiang Men Sports Hall. Tomorrow, China, Thursday, Poland. But at the moment, it's all about the one extra point needed. Giovanni Guidetti has calmed down a little bit, understandably frustrated with the length of time that was taken in the previous actions. And we're in a fascinating part of the match. We are either 30 seconds away from the end of the game or we're an hour and a half away from the end of the game. This is huge. Where does Ojbe go on offence? That's if Turkey pass this Washington serve. Good serve, free ball. And we might be going the distance now. USA have still got to win this set, but that's a huge save in terms of momentum for this American team. Thompson applies the finishing touch. It was a poor pass from Ismiloglu. A set has to be won by two clear points, and we're 24 apiece on Washington's serve. Another poor pass. And a court forced to tip brilliantly. American defenders on the back line, on their heels, waiting for the powerful spike. And Karakur has done what she's done all game, mixed it up brilliantly. from Thompson. On comes the experience then of Erchan. Fantastic wing spiker in her own right, but what a call. What a time to come on. To win the match for Turkey. Marsh Hackley. Here we go, Karakur. No. Turkey go again. Lake gets it in play, free ball Turkey, now they can run it. No, Lake with some heroics in the back line for the USA. Karakurt stuffed and just ran out of gas there, Karakurt. Had no jump left in the legs. Right on the edge, Team USA. What a rally. Into the 30s again, 30.1 seconds. Not such a long buster as the one previously, but at this time in the match, that's going to hurt. And Kara caught. She was back and she ran in. She was back and she ran in. And it wasn't to be. We're 25 apiece. Carolini on the serve for the US. There we go. That's the player that should have been set in the last rally, Yildirim, who's been incredibly sensible with her hitting today and very successful. Really impressed with the number 21.
third time of asking then for Turkey. And it's all good. Karakurt is front court now. Ojbe in the back line. Match point again for Turkey. Oh, picked up well. Karakurt ready and poised. Kept in play. We set by Lake. Here we go. Here we go. She's back. She's forward, oh. but it's saved by oh. Bash Ackley. What a pickup. Not Karakurt again, surely. No. Yielded him. Gets in and does the job. Good decision by Ojbay. And some incredible resilience from this Turkish team. And that underlines just how good this side are. That was a brilliant finish under severe pressure. A brilliant finish for a brilliant match for Turkey. It was kept in well by Carlini. Was it going to be Karakut that got the match-winning shot? It wasn't. But that's what it means to Giovanni Godetti to have a three set to nil win over the USA. They've set up their week four here in China wonderfully well, and they'll go on to play China before they'll play Poland at the end of the week. But lessons would have been learnt for Karch Karai, and they'll go on tomorrow to play the Polish team. But look what it means to the Turkish team to get one over on the USA and play some super volleyball. Yeah, well, I think the main lesson for Karch Kirai is uh, maybe think very hard before he puts that group of players out on the floor for the first set that he did today. But for Turkey, real resilience, real teamwork.